July 4th, 2012, Seward, Alaska. One of the most popular foot races in the state, Mount Marathon, is underway. It's a moody, eerie day. Fog curls its tendrils around the upper slopes of the race course. It's a stark difference from the celebrations happening in town far below. Up here, on the jagged, lifeless ridges of the mountain, something baffling is about to unfold. Right under the noses of thousands of people, a racer disappears, never to be seen again. This is the story of the vanishing of Michael Lamatri. Oh, hey, it's you. Alaska Brian here. I'm about to climb 3,000 feet up a mountain where a guy disappeared without a trace. As you can see, I am thoroughly soaked. It's just because the brush down there is covered with dew, and I was not expecting that. And now <sighs> I might as well have gone through a shower. Anyway, as you can see, the fog has gotten pretty dense as well. I'd say visibility is probably a hundred feet at best. We just got to make the most of it, I guess. But yeah, not quite the conditions I was hoping for. Well, yes, I am thoroughly soaking wet, but oh my gosh, look at that scene behind me. So worth it. And uh, I am almost a junior race point, which means I'm about halfway. And oh man, just killer sunrise. We've reached junior race point. We've reached halfway. Stunning. One of the best fog inversions I've seen for a while. And yeah, let's keep going up, up, up to the top. The Mount Marathon race is one of America's oldest foot races. 
Almost every 4th of July for well over a hundred years, people have gathered in Seward, Alaska to cheer on runners as they scale the steep, barren slopes of Mount Marathon. Starting near sea level on 4th Street in downtown, the relatively short race ascends nearly 3,000 feet to a false summit called Race Point on the Great Mountain's eastern flank. To win Mount Marathon is to become an instant legend in the circles of Alaska athletics. And though many compete to steal that honor, only one can stand atop the victory podium and bask in the glory. The names of those who do are etched into race lore forever. But in 2012, a dark event cast a gloomy shadow over the history of the race. That day, race organizers stationed at the top began to pack up and head down the mountain, thinking the last of the racers had passed. But as they made their way down, they encountered a lone racer, far behind the others, still struggling towards the top. Surprised, they informed the man that he didn't have far to go if he wanted to press ahead. The man nodded and continued uphill for the top, disappearing into the fog. This man was Michael Lamatry, and this was the last time he'd ever be seen. Later that evening, family members of Mr. Lamatry awaited his return, increasingly concerned by his absence. Eventually, they notified race organizers, and soon, a massive search was underway. But despite the large-scale rescue effort, including heat-sensing infrared cameras and body-sniffing dogs, no sign of Michael Lamatry was ever found. In fact, to this day, 12 years later, no one has found any sign of what happened that day. All right, this is Turnaround Rock at the top of Mount Marathon's race point. This is the spot where you loop around and you head on back down the mountain. There are a lot of wild theories about what happened to Michael Lamatry, from alien kidnapping to falling into another dimension to some sort of elaborate scheme to disappear and maybe cash in on some life insurance. Me personally, my theory, and again, just my theory, is that he continued past Turnaround Rock here and went on up the mountain and then took the wrong descent gully because the next gully to the west is pretty treacherous and even sometimes forms these big caverns in the scree. And if someone was to roll or fall into there, they could potentially get buried. All we know for sure is that race organizers here at the top thought everyone had finished the race and they started on down the mountain. And shortly after they left the top here at race point, they saw a man coming up and he had bibs on like he was still in the race. And he's believed to be Michael Lamatry. And they told him, oh, you're uh, just a little ways from the top. Go ahead, go around, turn around rock and come right on back down. And then he was never seen again, despite helicopters and infrared and, and um, dogs sniffing 
nobody was ever able to find a single trace of him. Now it's been over 10 years, and there still has been no sign of Michael Lamatri. Until some sign of Lamatri is discovered, the real truth of what happened that day will always be one of Alaska's greatest outdoor mysteries. Well, you know, I've had this great day up here and got to see that incredible fog inversion and find the blue sky up above the clouds. But it's definitely somber to imagine um, Michael Lamatri's last day and the events that took place up here somewhere and um, has still to this day are unsolved. And I feel a lot of compassion for the family that I just can't imagine not having the answers to what happened to this person that I loved. I mean, he started the race. There's pictures of him at the bottom. The organizers are certain they saw him just below the top here. And then he just vanished. I mean, how does someone vanish in the middle of one of the busiest, most popular events in all of Alaska? It's just an enduring mystery, and it's really unfortunate that it happened. Yeah, I think I've dawdled up here enough, and I'm going to start down. to the bottom only took three hours and 12 minutes but of course I stopped a bunch to film and fly the drone and yap about the race and things like that today we climbed the mountain we got an incredible view from above the fog and um, yeah I'm really glad you joined me so um, if you enjoyed it don't forget to poke that like and subscribe button cost you nothing and helps me out a lot for now I gotta bounce and until next time stay interesting and stay wild Shh. <sharp inhale>